Today, we see if diet drinks help you lose fat. So, shall we get myth busting and figure out whether this is a myth or a fact? Hello dear friends, thank you very much for tuning in. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do help tips, tricks and hacks on Sundays and we do Mythbuster videos just like this one on Thursdays. These videos, as always, will have three sections. Number one, the subject. Number two, the facts, figures and the opinions. And number three, the verdict or the conclusion, whether this is a myth or a fact. So stay tuned. What are diet drinks? These are drinks that are sugar free, virtually with no calories. Drinks that are replaced with artificial sweeteners and marketed to the health conscious. Individuals who want to lose weight, take their sugar intake down, or even in some cases, athletes. I shall have some coffee. As I mentioned before, these drinks are sweetened with artificial sweeteners as opposed to sugar. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, cyclamate, saccharin, sucralose, and many other chemicals. List all the way down here. All right, given that we understand what a sugar-free drink is, now let's go and tackle the facts, figures, and the opinions number one. Diet drinks do replace sugar with artificial sweeteners, which naturally translates to low number of calories. So if your pure focus is to reduce the intake of sugar, yes, these drinks will help you reduce the intake of sugar and thus reduce the amount of calories and might even translate to short-term goals of weight loss. All right, that's out of the way. But is it all that these drinks do? Let's tackle further. Number two, these drinks impact your microbiome and causes a change or a negative change in your gut flora. The thought has always been that these substances do not get absorbed, so that it does not necessarily have an impact in your digestive system. But recent research has challenged this notion and shows that these chemicals disrupt your microbiome and challenge the balance of the good bacteria and therefore translates to other health issues relating to obesity, cardiovascular diseases, or to immune responses. In addition, the chemicals used to sweeten these drinks translates to toxins when tried to digest by our body and thereby resulting in bloatation. Number three, linked to diabetes type two. Type two diabetes is where the responses from your cells towards insulin is reduced or impaired. So artificial sweeteners have been linked and associated with impairments of blood regulation via insulin. As you very well might know, type 2 diabetes has linkages with other associated health conditions such as obesity and heart conditions as well. And it being one of the leading causes of current humanities epidemics, why furl it with additional artificial sweeteners? Number four, links to tooth decay. Just like with normal soda, artificially sweetened sodas or fizzy drinks also have a high level of acidity or a pH scale. This is as a result of the additives acids such as phosphorus, citric and malic to enhance these flavors. So these additional acidic components contribute to dental erosion. Number five, links to kidney failure. Recent observational studies have linked or associated drinking large amounts of diet soda resulting in kidney diseases. And we understand that correlation doesn't prove causation. And one of the reasons that the medical industry thinks that there is a actual association is due to the acidity of these artificial sweetened drinks. Number six, linkage to heart diseases. As we alluded to before, these artificially sweetened drinks have associations with type two diabetes and therefore obesity, which naturally translates to higher risks of heart diseases. And in addition to that, these artificially sweetening chemicals have vasoconstrictive natures which result in the narrowing of blood vessels which naturally increases the risk of heart disease. Seven, research. Isn't it fair to actually question why this was actually approved by the FDA to put out and be actually accepted to be consumed by individuals? As we try to emphasize mostly on this channel, most of this research was funded by the producers of artificially sweetened drinks. So the research was very limited to, to a small intake of diet soda and the research did not actually capture what would happen if you were to consume large amounts of sodas, for example, 24 ounces or two cans of soda or three on a daily basis. So without sufficient research and taking into account large levels of consumption, how could we safely make a decision that these, these types of drinks are healthy and would not have detrimental effects on your health? Some of the upcoming and ongoing research which we've linked down below have actually proved significant increase in the association of health related risks. So with all that said, do you now think that we're ready to bust this myth? 
Do diet drinks help you lose weight? No, this is a myth. As a result of the ongoing and recent researchers have proved us the association with all these additional health related risks, you should avoid having diet sodas and sodas all together. And if you really need one, just have a normal soda. So that's it for this video. Comment, like and share if you like this video and we'll see you on the next video.